Welcome back, everybody, for some more Nagi Lodgels that I will never pronounce correctly. So last time we went back to uh, Lithuania, and now it looks like we're going to bounce back to Italy with the Treaty of Turin. So let's see what the Venetians have in store for us. I cannot remember how many times we have played against Venice. Apart from their invincible and proud fleet, my king could not find a real decent opponent who... Can have us a taste of bowing knees? The conflicts continued just for struggling with a true ending to take full control of Dalmatia. Though these gold-thirsty Venetians had shortly been subdued by my king, their enormous economic power on the sea had never made them abandon their treasured coastline. Venice uh, was not the only Italian immense naval city-states dominating trade in the sea. Venice, Genoa, Pisa, and Amalfi were all powerful maritime powers in Italy in the past, but unfortunately, the latter two were lost to Genoa and the Normans. And now the Republic of Genoa became the only rival uh, to compete with the Venetians, led to an exhilarating battle in the Venetian lagoon. The century-long economic conf confrontation between the two city-states in the Mediterranean had never come to an end. To get rid of this situation and to become the only dominator of the ocean, the Genoese set sail from afar, riding the wind and waves, bypassing the whole of Italy, sailing into the Venetian lagoon, in person to start a life-and-death contest. Hungary's chance also came, a perfect opportunity to force the Venetians to bow down. Oh boy, now we're taking him on. We're taking them on. Ooh, lots of stuff. Uh, the whole Dalmatia be now belongs to Hungary. Those stubborn Venetians still keep uselessly struggling to regain their losses, but they do not even realize all the attempts. All of their attempts are fruitless. The Genoese warships have sailed into the lagoon. It's a good time to strike the Venetians down once again. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold up. Capture a Venetian fortress by killing all of the garrison within the walls and sending at least two of your men inside. Reduce the Venetian strength to 150 or lower by killing Venetian troops, consuming its resources, and capturing and destroying its fortresses, Victoria. Okay, so they have like 3,000. The Genoese cannot be defeated. Uh, fortresses and Victorias. So you'll obtain a large amount of resources for destroying each Victoria and fortress you capture or regain slowly from Victoria by producing, forcing them to surrender. The more Victoria you capture, the more resources you'll get. Okay. 240. Oh boy. No houses needed. Cannot train any villagers, uh, as well as the winged... Um, okay, no winged Hussar or Obuk. It is not eliminating the Venetians, but it does not mean you cannot achieve victory by defeating them. It'll become harder and more challenging for you to achieve this, however. Um, okay. So the Genoese have to defend the city of Chioga, which is close to the Venetian fortresses. The Venetians dare not attack the Genoese rashly unless they are well prepared. No need to worry about the Genoese defenses. Uh, they can hold for long uh, and buy time for the Hungarian conquest on land. The Hungarians still need to act as soon as possible to conquest the Venetians on Italian islands to cut off their supplies to Venice. Be aggressive! Okay, uh, the conquests between Venice and Hungary are still going on, especially for the ownership of Dalmatia. To force the Venetians to accept the Hungarian supremacy, Louis decided to lead his knights personally to cut off the Venetian supplies from uh, to land a city on the lagoon, to pose heavily threats uh, with Padua and Genoa. Lord of Padua, Francesco I de Carrara, who, has support, who supports the Genoese and Hungarians, uh, will periodically reinforce us. Uh, they are not an enemy of the Milanese. Uh, the Duke of Milan has formed an alliance with the Venetians. Venice is going to be our big boy bad guys. And then the Genoese are our friends. Alright, there's a lot to remember and I am going to forget almost all of it. So I wonder what, like, counts... It, are, seriously, there's 61. 61 pop! Ha! Those knights have finally come! To arms! Cut off their heads! Whoa. Republic of Venice, Italy? Republic of Venice Lagoon? Huh? Okay, well, let's take them down.
Our ally, Hungarian Cicada, wants to launch an attack on land. Let's prepare an offensive on the sea. All right. And this is going to uh, cost us most of our army. Uh, ha, look at these people who only know how to fight on horse. Uh, there's too much that's going on. A Venetian doge has invited us to be his distinguished banquet, but I heard some eastern gangsters want to seize our invitation. What? Pull the Venetian flag. Okay. See what's going on. Here's Genoa. Hanging out in some place. Trade cogs. We can build trade cogs. Okay, here's uh, Padua. There's the guy himself. Oh, there's a relic. Okay, those are the Venetian islands. If you ask me, the Genoese are Venetians, which will be favored by me. Undoubtedly the Venetians. The Genoese suck and they're so annoying and so disliked by me. Oh my god, feels bad, man. Uh, I do not have a blacksmith. Stop it! I guess we'll get that. And that. I guess we'll just keep on keeping on. Still not entirely sure what's going on in this scenario, but we're just gonna keep on going. Okay, so the Milanese are going to attack us at some point. And we just have to be careful for when they do. Seems forgotten by the Venetian Doge. It seems not well protected, and we can effortle effortlessly take it. The doge was too busy with his doge coin, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. marching and this one gave us a blacksmith awesome oh that's awkward uh, Leopold the third of Austria here are my reinforcements I literally never mentioned remembered I, I don't remember the Austrians being mentioned, but hey, I'll take them. Okay, there are the Genoese attacking. Genoese warship sighted. Just get some hotkeys all set up. Do not have a university. Alrighty. Let's just go ahead and get that. I mean, yeah, it's mostly condos. Even get that extra one attack for reasons. Yeah, I feel like we we don't want to destroy the buildings. 
because, you know, we're going to get them. Uh, uh, have you these knights ever sit on boats? I think not. Yeah. Oh, we got reinforcements from Padua. Got a bunch of condos and genbos. I mean, they're Magyar units, so they're not that great in this particular instance, but hey, we'll take them. Alrighty. Guess we'll just keep on going down this way. Oh, uh, let's get a light cab, actually. Some coustier. I think we can type 301 to defeat the... Or, or destroy a Fatorio and get a bunch of resources, but then it's, like, you know, going to stop generating more for us. We seem all right-ish right now, so let's just leave it at that. Making sure we are as careful as possible. I must admit, I find it very confusing that we have Republic of Venice, Republic of Venice Lagoon, and Republic of Venice Italy. Yeah, you go get them, guys. Yep. Let's be careful. Got him. All right. I guess we'll just march down this way. And I guess we're getting pretty close to all of the fortresses. But we have to defeat their... Their strength? Their something? Not entirely sure what that means. So, like, do their castles not attack us? Towers are definitely shooting at us. Oh, and they do actually raid us. That one's just the Republic of Venice. And they are the Venetians, they're not the Italians. Alrighty. I think we're doing alright still. Is this all one base? Oh, okay. Uh, most of the Venetian fortresses have been captured by our allies. It seems that these Venetians will soon have to s sit on their ships and spend the rest of their life doing that. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is mainland Italy. This isn't Venice itself. Venice is probably over here somewhere. Reinforcements from Padua. Seriously? Seriously. Wow. We are all the king could afford to send. <laughs> Uh, still don't have a university. Get some Magyar Hussars, because why not? Let's keep this show on the road. Um... 
guess we have to start driving that. Wait, what? Is there some overlapping hotkey? It says not enough gold. Yeah, let's get you guys to this party. Yeah, just having this big old massive heavy have archers is uh, pretty darn useful. So, can we just like run in here? It's a little confusing. Yeah, I don't think their castles are attacking us. Are we allied to them? Wait, neutral... Their stance is enemy. Why aren't they shooting at us? I mean, not that I'm complaining. It's just the towers that are shooting at us. Southern Venetian Fortress captured. Okay, that one's still... Be in the butt. Uh oh, King Lewis. Okay, we should be getting this one then. Boo ya! All of Venetian fortress have been has been captured by the Hungarians. Ha ha! Okay, so it looks like we have taken the mainland. Now they're just stuck in the lagoon. Let's get a Munker. Oh, hello. Hello, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jump. Jump for it. Let's get a couple relics. I guess this is like a leading force. Oh, hey, more than one of each unit. Okay, they're attacking me on the coastline here. I don't know if I need to invest in ships or not. See what's over this way. Okay, there's Barnabo. Oh, there's Barnabo. Where'd you come from, Kipchak? Okay, so all that stuff's going down. Such is life. Oh, hey, look, they're landing stuff as well. Literally landing one pikeman. I'm so impressed. Okay, that is a big, big navy. So let me just... You obtain a large amount of resources by destroying the Fatorias, or you can gain income... Uh, by forcing it to surrender. Oh. Sword 
Oh, so I need to have my own units nearby. So let's get five units, I guess, and just send them each to Fatoria's. Because we're going to kind of want that long-term production on, right? Right. Oh, that's what the Fatoria Surrenders are for. Oh. I'm getting it eventually. All right, now we can send these guys back over here. Some of you guys going. Go get them. Yep, oh, something happened. What? I am not entirely sure. Oh, wait a minute. The Venetians are Portuguese. <laughs> It just says they're Venetians. Oh, hey, it's Luciano Doria. Okay, there's one Fatoria I'm not capturing right now. Oh, wow. Four units. Okay, so there we got. Yeah, this Fatoria is just now my Fatoria. It's mine. I found it. It came to me. Oh, this one. Are you clown stuck? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at those resources fly. Yeah, okay, so the Venetian strength is waning quite a lot. I feel so much more, like, just comfortable and confident as to what the heck's going on now that I know what the heck's going on. <laughs> yeah, because Venice itself is really going to be difficult to crack. Oh, yeah, because the Victorias also uh, provide them resources, right? That would make sense. Okay, that's a big old navy. Get 
go get them. Freaking 10 pierce armor cannon galleons. Yeah, you guys are getting riggedy racked. Oh, wait. I guess I need that one. I guess we can't get cannon galleons. Maggiers do have regular cannon galleons, not elite cannon galleons. have 94 military. Yeah, you bet we're eager for that bling bling cash money. No, don't attack it. Okay, yeah, that's the last Victoria. Unbelievable, those Hungarians have learned how to sail and land. Haha, -ha. your blood will soon be the symbol of Venetian victory or something. Thanks, guys. guys for now. Okay, there. 284. What's their strength determined by? Vision troops consuming its resources and capturing and destroying its fortresses, Victorious. Okay. I don't know how, how we get their resources. Unless they mean from the Fatorias. Unless we destroy like fishing ships, that's also something we could do. Spare us. Ah! Oh no, oh no. That wasn't ideal. Oh, they're only at 170. Oh, that's a huge ass navy. If we can like lure them towards Genoa. Okay, just keep on keeping on. Oh, there we go. Enemies on land have driven us to the end and leave us no way back. Take to the last chance and fight. Fight to regain our lost Venice. Uh, soon the fleets will bring the Venetians to victory. Wait, what? Uh, let's shatter the dream of Venetian dream of dominating the Adriatic Sea. Wait, what? Unmilitary to launch a final attack. Oh. Okay, so now we just get a huge freaking. 
Uh, okay. Oh, that's where the uh, don't let our allies get defeated comes from. All right, let's sink them good. Yeah, there's a huge fleet. Yeah, there's not really much for the land army thingy to do. Yeah, I guess it's just Republic of Venice. Okay, got to defeat 60 more military units. I mean, we'll just grind them down eventually. Eventually. Man, those ships are tanky. Okay, hold up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have villagers. When did those guys get here? Oh my goodness. Okay, Genoese, help us out. 35 more units to destroy. We'll just... Oh, there's the, the dude, Carlo Zeno. 1,000 freaking HP. I guess these guys count? Oh, I wonder if there's, like, a lot of dudes just kind of hanging out over there. Yeah, I guess they do count. Yeah, the, after, like, their first attack, the Milanese really haven't done a whole lot. Venice looks amazing, by the way. Okay, ten more units. To Saracen attack. Transports count. There's Vitor Pisani. Yeah, Venice looks awesome. 
There we go. Stop. Order your men to stop. The Venetians admit defeat. And also, please lay down your swords. We can talk on the negotiating table. Not at the negotiating table. On <laughs> the negotiating table. The... Starvation, helplessness, and desperation, and insufficient supply deeply trapped both city-states. Their desperate eyes prompted them to take their last breaths to guard the wealth they held tightly. We won a great victory with the Paduans uh, on the land over the Venetians, leaving them with no choice but to give up the land they own, including Dalmatia. I found a heavy bag of ducats from a dead Venetian condottiere, and the reflection of gold coins was particularly dazzling in the afterglow of the setting sun. I've heard that it was made of extremely pure gold. I can Im imagine how amazing the wealth of the Venetians was and how obsessed they are with gold. It was my last time to harvest the loot, the richest one, and I haven't uh, had my sword stained red since. Alas, time and tide wait for no man. Eh, pretty good KD. I actually ended up collecting a good amount of resources. So yeah, that was like really confusing at first, but like kind of once I got a grasp on what's going on, it became much more sensical. <laughs> like it's it's a it's a really cool concept. I feel like the the language barrier definitely was a bit of a but oh they have Hofnitzas. Also, Milan felt like they probably should have been attacking a bit more. There's Bernabo. But like yeah, like still the concept was really cool. I love the map design. Yeah, Venice looks awesome for like the 50th time, but still, it does, man. Anyway, that, guys. Wait, the matter of the crown? <laughs> what? <laughs> now we're literally playing as Jadwiga? It's like the literally the first Jadwiga scenario. So, uh, let's see what's going on with this one. Uh, but yeah, that was the Treaty of Turin, guys, and I'll see you all next time.